I can do it by the mixer board, bro. <laughs> Watch out for the knob. All righty, here we go. Fuzzy Fantabulous, Lil Wayne, one-on-one. I'll let your boy, Fuzzy Fantabulous, Big Boy's Neighborhood. Here with Lil Wayne. What's up, brother? I'm cooler, man. You did a dynamite thing for the NBA season, and you picked out the number one player in the league, Kobe Bryant. Now, how big did that feel, you doing a Kobe Bryant record? I was amped up just to do it. When I thought when I came up with the idea, I was like, I'm going to do a song for Kobe, because when they made it there, I was like, I'm going to do a song. So when I went to the studio that night, I knew it was going to be amazing. I, called, I sent it to him right when I was finished text him the whole time like while I was doing it. Did he give you autograph ball or a ring for that brother? No, I'm good. I might get one next year, so I'm good. Now what's going on with Cash Money? What's going on with Young Money? Young Money is of course my label. Um I have a whole gang of artists and um we threw Cash Money, Young Money, Cash Money, Universal and um it's the movement. It's um it's the you know I think music need a new face and I got a gang of faces over here so I'm just hoping the world is ready to accept it. Now what's the plan with even going on to Carter for or Rebirth? The Rebirth is actually Actually finished Carter Fours, of course, I'm always never finished working on those Carters. I just keep working on them. The Rebirth is finished. We just don't want to drop nothing right now because of the Young Money thing, and I don't want to overshadow them. I need them to shine right now. It's their time. I dropped the Rebirth in a minute. We have a new Young Money single coming out. What's the name of that record? It's called Girl You Know. What's going on with Drake, brother? Man, that boy clumsy, man. I don't know. What's, this dude fall every five minutes, man. He like the coolest dude on the songs, but he can't walk a straight line. I'm just playing, man. Um, What happened is he was playing ball recently. He when he came came down, he came down wrong, you know, everybody do that, he came down wrong, but he came down real wrong, we couldn't believe that happened to him, he was pushing it with the tour, doctors told him not to do it, surgeons told him to have surgery, he was like, no, I won't do this tour, and of course, he got a little too excited, and it blew right out. Now, with the success of what Drake's mixtape you guys did, So Far Gone, are you dropping another mixtape with Drake, or what's the plans with that? Next, Drake's dropping an album, yeah, Drake album is coming next. This year? Probably, most likely this year, or top of next year, yeah, most likely top of next year, but he, is he crazy. It don't even matter. He dropping next two years. It's still gonna be the hottest. Now you just did your show. How do you feel when you see like the young to old? Like I saw a lady out there. She had to be what in the 70s, man. And I saw she was right next to her prior great grandson. How do you feel? You see families coming out to support Little Wayne. I mean, it's, it's overwhelming. Is it? I mean, I, it humbles me. I try to be humble, of course, but uh, I just try to entertain everybody. And I, I try to go when I see stuff like that. Whenever I do see them, I, I try to get a thought in my head like, what in the hell do they see? What is they? What, what am I doing? That's entertain them, but whatever it is, I try to keep doing it. So, Lil Wayne, what's next? Are you thinking about going into acting or TV shows or something? Man, I'm too uh, stuck in my everyday ways, and they made what happened is they made me a boss at too, too young of an age, and so when you're a boss, like, in the, the position that they already put me in, you you know, you know, you gotta be on the movie set at a certain time. You gotta do what they say. I don't do what nobody say. But then ain't nobody hollering at me, though. It ain't like, you know, I got some movie scripts at my door, <laughs> nothing like that. I just like to make money the way I make money. What is your opinion on what the Tiny and Toya show like I know you that's wife you got the daughter on there do you get a chance to watch I know you've been busy she actually loves you brother I've actually saw the show one time it was the time it came on after the awards pretty interesting um I've never seen it again but uh if you guys watching television watch Tiny and Toya any other rumors you want to squash while we're here Lauren London she's fine very fine sexy she very pregnant with your baby very pregnant yes I I take that as a yes she's very pregnant that's not rumors I that's a rumor. That's a done deal. I'm a, that's a kid. That's a child. That's a life. You don't hide from that. Nah. So congratulations. Thank you. What's the best advice Little Wayne can give the fans out there about getting into business? I don't really have any advice about getting into business. I just give you advice, period. And let's take everything one day at a time. So we will see an album this year from you. Oh, yeah. Carter 4? <laughs> you want that Carter 4? Yeah, that Carter, Carter 4 this year, now. Nah. <laughs> rebirth then. Oh, yeah. You're getting the Rebirth. Yeah. Rebirth. But it's, like I said, Young Money album, man. We got that Young Young Money, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you for sitting down with Big Boy's Neighborhood. Nah, thank you for.